Good morning. Um, I am here on the porch. Um, as you can tell, it's a beautiful day. There's the duck pond down there. And um, I get up pretty much every morning and feed the animals. I let the ducks out of their cage right there. Uh, if you can see that, that cage uh, is to protect them from the foxes that live across the road over, you see that barn over there? We got red foxes that live over there. <clears throat> and I've had people say, oh, if they're eating your ducks, which they ate all but one, <laughs> uh, you can shoot them. Well, I don't shoot animals, okay? Not that I don't um, believe in hunting, I do. I watch Duck Dynasty, I watch Duckman. Um, I just, uh, <clears throat> I, I don't shoot animals <clears throat> um, because that they're getting in my way, okay? Uh, that's my personal thought. If you have thoughts uh, and you want to post them, please just don't. I, 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 uh, um, I try to stay off Facebook because I don't like what people post on there. So if you're going to come against me because I don't shoot animals, um, just keep it to yourself, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not against hunting. I, I'm not. If, uh, if I could go out and hunt and, and um, you know, eat the ducks and... and uh, I love deer jerky. I love deer venison. Um, I love game. I, I do. I just, I, I have never been one to be a hunter, but I'm not against it at all. In fact, I support it um, because people do it to support their family, you know, to, to feed their family. And it's super important. So I'm just letting you know, I, I'm not against it. Uh, <clears throat> but, uh, but I am against, you know, shooting God's animals out there just because they're, you know, they're doing what they know to do best, and that's to hunt, okay? So what I've done is I have just made it a lot harder for them to get my ducks, okay? <laughs> um, and I, I got new, I got a bunch of new ducks. Some people gave them to us, said we don't want these anymore. Um, but they're real poops, okay? <laughs> uh, this batch I got, um, they are not accepting any other ducks in their little clique, and it's frustrating because I got another duck from another family and they, they keep chasing it off and being mean to it. And so that's, that's really bothering me because you know, we're <clears throat> just because he's different. Um, he is not accepted. And, and of course we're finding that in our society today, you know, and I am just so sad and, and, um, just up frustrated that <clears throat> this is the year 2020 and we're supposed to you know, we're in the 21st century. We're supposed to <clears throat> be much more advanced and much more uh, tolerable, you know, of, of other people. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, what happened to George, we can't be tolerable to the police officer that did that. We have to seek justice. And, um, and I'm not going to talk about that. I, I'm not, because there's enough people talking about that. Okay, so uh, I'm glad he got arrested and he's going to face criminal charges and he should have never been out on the road. But other than that, um, I, I remember when I was uh, 15 in the eighties and, um, go, we'd go to church and we'd hear all about how bad things were and, uh, teen suicides and, and, uh, rock music was of the devil and, um, and it was causing people to commit suicide and things like that. You know, if any of you are my age, you know, I'm 50 and, um, or, you know, around my age, you were, you remember those days and I'm not saying they didn't have any merit to them, but I think if somebody, you know, kids commit suicide back in those days, uh, there was more issues than just listening to, uh, Ozzy Osbourne and listening to their song one time, like, Oh yeah, I think I'm going to commit suicide. Uh, now I do believe that the more garbage you pour into yourself, the more garbage that comes out. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm going to say it didn't help if he would have, um, if those people would have sought Christ, they would still be alive today. Um, and so for the most part, you know, I'm just going to say that. Uh, <clears throat> but I think about, you know, here we're in the uh, 2020s now and things are so much, so much worse. And uh, for me to think, Back in those days, man, it's got to get better than this. Um, I was a naive, brand new Christian back in the 80s. And I just thought, yeah, it's going to get a lot better. You know, people are going to grow up. People are going to, you know, when I get older, 
it's just got to get better. And it didn't. It, it got worse, you know, and the Bible says that. The Bible says in the days of Noah, um, things are going to really, it's going to be like the days of Noah in the end times. And, you know, I know what you're going to say. Well, they've been talking about that for 40 years. Well, we're 40 years closer. So um, just be ready because when Jesus comes back, it's going to come so fast. You're not even, you're not even going to get a chance to repent. And that's kind of the point. Always be ready. And so in my case where I'm 50, I got about 30 years left. And so if, uh, if he tarries that long, I've only got 30 years left. <laughs> if he doesn't, I got less and get to get out of here. But until then, uh, I try to spread positive messages. And uh, I just want to tell you that um, you're, an awesome, you're an awesome person. If you're watching this, um, I'm just going to tell you, don't know you, but you're awesome. And God loves his creation. And um, he's... He, uh, but the ones that he has the most fellowship with is his children, okay? And so if you stand before him and he said, I never knew you, it's because you weren't a child of God. And that's very clear in the word of God. That's very clear. He says, you know, unless you accept me, you're not a child of God. He loves you because he, you, he created you, but he doesn't have that fellowship with you. And so and that's what he wants most of all. And, um, you know, and so... I, I just encourage you to become a child of God if you're not. And, uh, you know, being a child of God doesn't mean you lay down like a rug mat, okay? Um, you know, you, uh, you still have your strength. And, um, but humility does uh, produce character, and it, it produces what God wants. He wants humble people that are willing to serve him. And... Um, People like to take advantage of Christians and say, well, you're supposed to be a Christian. You're supposed to just basically, you know, let me do what I want. No, we're not rug mats. Um, here in Moses Lake, a couple nights ago, there was plenty of people downtown with their guns waiting for Antifa to come. And uh, even pastors with their guns. And there was, a, there was one person that just hammered that. And then she got hammered heavy <laughs> about her comment. We're not rug mats. And... Um, if I, if I didn't have anything going on, I'd been right down there with my AR too, you know, uh, and because we're not going to allow some group that's protesting something that didn't happen here in our peaceful town to come in and destroy and say, well, you're a Christian. You're supposed to just lay down your guns and, and pray for them. I'm praying for them, but I'm praying that they, they get it together before they get here, because you make a bad choice like that, you're going to suffer the consequence. OK, um, and God ordained wars. He used the Babylonians, which were evil people, to kill Israelites because they were not following God. He allowed them to he allowed all kinds of people to attack Israel when they were in the wilderness because they were not following him. And um, and so it uh, it's very clear that we're not to we're not to lay down. All right. Um, but what I do want to do is I want to pray for all you that are having strength issues. And uh, I get those. I have strength issues too. You know, things that come against me. And um, I get upset about it. And I, th I have to think, it's just pride. I got to get rid of that pride. I got to be humble. And, um, and, you know, that's where it's all at. Just be humble, but <clears throat> with a strong back. All right. So I'm going to pray for you right now. Dear Heavenly Father, just come to you right now, and I ask you for strength for these people. And um, I pray that all this chaos will end and that um, people can just start loving each other. And uh, it's, it's, a, you know, it, it's hard to see that that can happen when stuff like this is going on, but it will happen. The riots will stop. We had riots in the 60s, and they stopped. And um, so I believe they, they will stop, but I don't think that things are going to get any better. <clears throat> In fact, I believe your word that you said it's going to get worse. And so knowing that, we just need to stick with you and be under your covering and know that anything that comes up that is not of you needs to be thoroughly tested um, and to make sure uh, it isn't of you and then just put it away. 
And so I just pray all this in, in your heavenly name. Amen. All right. So have a great day. I'm going to be playing at the assistant living home today. Got some new equipment. Pretty excited about that. New drum machine, new guitar. Um, really taking this stuff serious. I want to give them the best I can. And, uh, uh, you know, I encourage you to find something and, you know, to get out there and serve during this time because there's a lot of hurting people, okay? And uh, um, I just want to put a shout out to my very good friend, Pastor TC. He has been, you know, staying the course through this whole thing and still holding church and people are not getting sick in his church. He's in Dallas, Texas. Good for you, Pastor. Okay, love you. And um, to my uh, coffee buddy, Pastor James Kovac. Mm. Yeah, this ain't a four-finger cut, Pastor James. It's only a three-finger. Um, but, you know, you do what you can. Mm. Pastor James puts, uh, he, he he's one of our ministers in PEC in, in Pennsylvania. He's moving to Florida, so that's pretty exciting. And uh, But uh, he puts cinnamon in his coffee, and I haven't been able to break down and do that yet. And so... I like mine black. And so, <laughs> okay, God bless, and we'll talk to you later.